Hi guys, welcome back. This is Mike Krimis at MH Tutorials and today I'm going to address a question that I got uh, regarding a quick animation test that I posted on YouTube uh, called the Melting Guys and I want to show you in this tutorial what the principle is of that. Actually it's not too complicated. Uh, to some extent I used a preset out of Visor and I manipulated that with Ncloth and did an animation with that. So that's what I'll explain. Now, first, before we get into that guy, I'm going to show you the principle. All right. So for that, we're going to create a polygon cube. We're going to drag that out and pull it up a little bit, something like that. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our polygon cube tab and we're going to increase subdivisions to 10 by 10. And we're going to leave that, let's say at three. Uh, maybe a bit more. Let's do 10 as well. Okay. So now if I were to tell you that this is going to become a pillow, you probably wouldn't believe that, but uh, you can be sure that that is the case. Okay. I mean, at five for shaded mode. So now what's the deal? The deal is uh, I created this object with enough subdivisions to deform if needed. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my object. I'm going to go to uh, end dynamics and mesh and create and cloth, which essentially changes it into a fabric. Still doesn't look anything like a pillow, right? Okay. We're going to increase the animation frames to let's say 200 or so. Okay. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go into our nucleus. We're going to select use plane so that will you know uh, allow anything underneath my quote unquote pillow to be a um, an active floor so to speak and then i'm going to go to my end cloth shape right i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to go to the tab pressure okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase pressure to a value of about 10 and what that will do is that will inflate my object into the shape of a pillow. And I'll show you. So we're at frame one, we get the pressure at 10 and let's hit play. Okay. Now it's collapsing right now a little bit. Um, reason for that is I need to uh, increase pressure. Okay. So we're going to go down and let's go down back to frame one. Let's make that a pressure of, let's say 50. All right, let's try that again and hit play. And there we go. It's taken off like a balloon. Okay, so 50 is a bit much. Let's bring that down to 20. Okay, go back to frame one. Let's hit play. Still too much. Go back, let's say 13. Okay, hit play. Still too much. Let's say 10. Frame one, hit play. Okay, still too much. Five, hit play. That's better. Go back to frame one. Let's say three, hit play. Okay, now that's kind of what we're looking for. That's pretty cool, huh? Okay. Now you got loads of settings that you can play with, you know, you can do pressure damping and so forth, but this is what I wanted to show you. I'll just increase the sub of the uh, frames a bit, go back to frame one. So it inflates my end cloth and it allows me to, you know, play with that shape. So if I were to, let's say, let's say I want to use this as a pillow in a static position, I'm going to stop, go back to frame one. Let's bring that down a little bit. Let's say 2.5. We're going to hit play. And when we reach the frame that looks best for our pillow, we're going to stop it. So hit play. Let it bounce around a bit. And let's say something like that. All right. Let's say that's what I like, you know, for my, for my pillow. That looks pretty decent. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select that while I'm in frame 114. I'm going to go up to edit delete by type and select history. Okay. Now I can do anything I want with this thing. I can move it around. And even when I hit play, 
nothing is changing. So that's one quick and neat way to create a pillow. All right. Okay, let's get rid of that. And we're going to go to our guys, our melting guys. Okay, so get rid of that. First of all, I mentioned that the guys are a preset advisor. Now, how do you get that? You go up to Window, you go down to General Editors, you go to your advisor. You got all these presets down here, and we're going to move over here to our mocap examples. Okay, and we got guys running around, standing, and so forth. Let's take this guy. I'm going to middle mouse click, and I'm going to drag it and release it on my grid. Okay, I'm going to minimize that. Now, here's my guy right over there. We're going to drag select this guy, and let's say we set him to a translate value of all zeros, which should put him on our grid, and it does. As you can see, it's in the middle there, okay? Now the thing is, this is already a rigged and animated character, and I'll show you. I'll just hit play, and I'll give it some more frames so you can see it better, okay? Let's say 500 frames, let's hit play, and this guy is walking around, okay? Now, that's not really what I'm looking for, so I'm going to go back to frame one, and I'm going to move into this guy, select him, edit, delete by type, history. So got that gone. I'm going to select the rig inside. I'm going to hit delete. Okay. So now it's just a simple model. Okay. I'm going to go to modify and I'm going to hit center pivot. So when I decide to rotate and whatnot, right, I got this kind of middle. So we've got that set up. I'm going to create a ground plane for this guy. So I'm just going to select my plane pull that out. We'll hit 5 for shaded mode. So we got our guy walking on the grid here. Hit W. Do something like that. We're going to hit R and we're going to scale that out. Okay. So this is my guy and he should now be close to or sitting on the grid. Where do you go? Uh, there's my guy. Okay. All right. So that looks about right. Cool. So we got all that set up. We're going to quickly set up some lighting. So we're going to go to our animation, uh, sorry, render settings. Switch to mental ray. Indirect lighting. Uh, click on global illumination and physical sun and sky and hit create. Okay. We're going to move down. So let's say we hit seven on our keyboard to see what the lighting is doing. Okay. That already gives us some lighting. And just to see where our sun is hiding, we're going to hit Window, Outliner. There it is. That's the sun direction. We're going to hit W just to pull it up a little bit so I can see what's going on. All right, cool. Okay. Now, without anything else, let's just quickly do our render of this guy so we can see what our shadows are doing. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's our guy walking in the desert, let's say. So we got some uh, shade going on there. All right. Now, next what we're going to do is we're going to turn this guy into end cloth. So we're going to select our guy, right? Make sure you're in end dynamics. We're going to go up to end mesh and create end cloth. There we go. Okay. And as a result, we get end cloth shape one. Right. Now, in this case, we're not going to increase pressure to blow them up or something like that, although we could. What we're going to do now is we created an ink cloth. Okay. We're going to go to our, uh, let's see, I think it's Nucleus. Yeah. We're going to go to Nucleus 1, and we're going to select the Use Plane. That way, when this guy starts to melt, he's not going to melt straight through the floor. He's going to use the floor as the floor. Okay. So we've got that. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to Fields while we have him selected, and we're going to select Gravity. Okay. Now let's do a quick test animation to see if we got everything right. Okay. Go to your first frame and hit Play. And there he goes. 
and he's melting, melting, melting. All the way down. All right. Pretty cool, huh? So as you can see, it's not a really big deal to do that. Now, one other thing we can do, though, is we can, and I'll just have to retrace my steps, I think. Edit, delete by type, history. Let's see if we can pressurize this guy. So we're going to go to our nucleus. And there's so much going on here that I just have to see where it's at. Okay, we're going to set gravity to zero. And let's go to our end cloth shape here. Okay, there's our pressure tab. We're at frame one in our animation. Let's do a pressure of eight. And let's hit play and see what happens, if anything at all. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. We're just going to have to repeat a few steps. Let's get rid of that guy. We're going to go to Window, General Editors, Visor. We're going to take this guy, middle click, drag it over there. Okay, there he is. And uh, we're going to go to Edit, Delete by Type, History. We're going to select that rig. We're going to delete that. So we just got our guy here. Okay, let's get him into sight, something like that. Okay, we're going to select him and mesh, create cloth. So we've got that. And now we're going to go to our pressure setting. Let's do eight. We've got enough frames, start position. Let's see if this works out and hit play. Not so far, but maybe let's increase the pressure to, let's say, 40 and hit play. There we go. And he's starting to inflate, all right? And he's stretching out and he's rising. Okay, now let's go nuts. We're going to hit stop. We're going to go back. Let's do 100. Okay, and hit play. And there we go. Okay, you can see he's inflating and he's going up and up and up, right? Now, let's go nuts. Let's see if we can turn this guy into a blimp, okay? 500. Yeah, still not enough. Back to one. 5,000 probably gonna yeah <laughs> okay that looks a little bit too much Oop. let's do 700 go back to frame one still too much uh, 650 yeah still too much 400 Okay, that looks weird. And we'll get to a value where we feel it's, you know, it looks decent. Still too much. Let's say 250. Yeah. There, to some extent, it still looks like a person. So we'll tweak that just a bit more. Let's say 200. And this pretty much should be it. So let's hit play. And there we go. That's kind of the effect that I was going for. All right. So all in all, uh, in essence, what we're talking about here is we're changing an object into end cloth. And either we are applying uh, gravity to it to let it just melt down, right? Um, or we decide to pressurize it and, you know, kind of inflate it until it looks like a blimp. So that's all. Uh, not really too complicated, and it's uh, fun to play with. So uh, good luck with that. Got any questions, let me know. And thank you guys for watching.